But I have a bunch of I have a bunch of Wordle specific questions. Just I I have to ask. Like while I have you, Wordle, it's it's a massive thing. So I need to know. Number one, five letter word. Was there any any reason you chose five letters versus four or six? Is there just a great catalog of five letter words? Yeah. So I actually when I made the game, so the inspiration for the game, I played a lot of a game called Mastermind as a kid. I'm not sure if you ever played that. It's like you're guessing at a pattern. It's very similar mechanically, but you're not guessing words. You're guessing colored patterns. And so there's no innate meaning encoded in the pattern. You know, it can be blue, blue, green, red, right? And it means nothing. And you just have to like brute force your way through it. And with Wordle, obviously, you know that the answer is a word and you know that you know, the word is very unlikely to begin with an X. So you probably won't want to start your guess with an X sort of thing. Right. Um, but so uh, Mastermind used uh, four pegs. So the first version of Wordle I built actually used four letters and I didn't, mm. it just wasn't satisfying. It was like, it felt like you were repeating a lot. I don't know, it just didn't feel good. And then my plan was to try with five letters, six letters, seven letters, find out which one really felt good. Uh, I was, I mean, I'm not a great programmer now. I was an even worse programmer back then. Uh, it was a lot of work for me to like incorporate the word list and stuff like that. So I added five letters and suddenly the game felt very different. And I was like, oh, this feels really good. So much so that I actually stopped experimenting with the word length. And I just started experimenting with how many guesses you could have to arrive at one of the things we haven't talked about with Wordle, which I think is part of its appeal, is it is quite easy. It's not, it's not that you, it's not, you are very unlikely to fail a Wordle. You can still fail. But for the most part, you'll get there and it kind of feels good and you feel smart when you get there. And some days you get it in three, some days it takes six. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's right in that Goldilocks zone of like you you almost never immediately get it. That would just be a stroke of luck, one or two. Maybe it happens sometimes. I've never gotten it in one or two still. But it is very likely that you'll figure it out by the end, which is a nice, satisfying, charming Goldilocks zone length of guesses. So six worked really well. Uh, you mentioned a word list, and I, I think that's been talked about in the past. Like, if you look in the code of the site, you can see this this huge list of five letter words. Who came up with the words? Is it every five letter word? Do you know what the next word is? How does this word list work? Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds like a philosophical question. Who does come <laughs> up with words? Where do words come from? But so no, there is a dictionary of every word in the English language. I don't remember where I got it, but so they're about. I filtered it down to five letter words. There are about 13,000 of them. Most of them are like absolutely bogus. Like you and I have never heard of. They're like right. jargon or like, you know, antiquated. Um, and one thing that was, so when I built that first prototype in 2013, I just dumped all the words in it and it randomly picked a word. And that was the word that you were guessing. So it was often a word you never heard of. And you kind of ended up having to brute force your way, kind of like mastermind, um, you know, because the letter A could begin with the letter X, right? Because it could just be a really obscure word. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one of the things when I revisited Wordle in January of 2021 was it was, uh, I knew that if I wanted to share it with other people, it would feel unfair if you played Wordle for the first time and the solution was a word that you'd never heard of. Like I couldn't imagine you would ever go back to that game. You'd just be like, this is dumb. Yeah. And so what I had actually done in the intervening years was build my partner another game, which was just every, the 13,000 five letter words. And it was just a website that displayed one of the words and three buttons. And you had to say, I know this word. I don't know this word. I kind of maybe know this word. And she, she was going through a tough time at that point. She just wanted a mindless game that she could sit there and play. So she just categorized all 13,000 words into, <laughs> I know, I don't know. Yeah. Wow. And then I, we took that list and then did some more filtering on top of that. And that gets down to around two and a half thousand words that can be the solution. So you can enter any of the 13,000 words as a valid guess because they are valid five letter words, but the answer will only ever be from that 2,500 uh, list. And that list is, I just randomized it and stuck it in the code because I want to play the game. So I don't actually know what the word is going to uh, be tomorrow. Smart. But okay. obviously that's a bit uh, fraught because like, what if we miss the word or something slipped through and there's a bad word coming up or something like that. So that's been a, a source of stress, but uh, one that's been manageable so that's far. That's funny. That's, so it's kind of a surprise. It's sort of on autopilot now and you're sort of playing the game with everybody else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, is, that is amazing. There is, it kind of reminds me of like game shows. You know, people always like to watch a game show and feel like they can play along with the game show on TV. There's a game show called Common Knowledge. Literally, it's just like 
I think it's Joey Patone, and he's just like asking people literally common knowledge questions, and it's really hard to be bad at this game, but it still <laughs> is like addicting to play along because you just want to make sure. You just want to make sure you also get it alongside them. And so I feel like that mechanic, it is, like I said, it's in that Goldilocks zone. Um, okay, so have you heard of some of these, uh, I'm not going to call them knockoffs. They're like alternate versions of Wordle. My favorite is called Nerdle, which is a math version where you have to come yeah. up with a correct equation. You've seen this, right? Yeah, what, yeah. Do you have a favorite Wordle uh, alternate that's out there right now? Uh, there was one that was very satirical called Letteral which was uh, that you just had to guess a letter. And <laughs> so each day it picks one letter and you have 26 guesses to guess oh it, basically. <laughs> so it's just like, and that, that was like reducing it. There was one that was also interesting, I think called Dordal, which was like two, you were solving two wordles at the same time, but you were inputting the same guess into both and you kind of had to narrow it down. Oh. That was kind of interesting. But I've, I've been blown away at all the riffs. Did you see someone did one that was like prime numbers? Like the answer was a prime number and oh. you could only guess prime numbers. And it was like, I don't even know. That's yeah, hard. Yeah. That's hard. Like those, you need more guesses for those. That's really hard. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, no, I love that. I like that there's so many like simple ones though. That's it sort of keeps you going. Um, what has been your, uh, who's, people have been sharing that they play Wordle. Who has uh, surprised you the most that they played Wordle? Who has like shared a Wordle that you didn't expect them to be playing? Oh, interesting. I am not very clued in to the world of uh celebs i gotta okay. say uh I, so yeah i don't i don't know uh i'm i'm amazed anyone's sharing it to be honest <laughs> i'm amazed anyone <laughs> that anyone else is 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 playing it so i i don't have a compelling answer for you there I'm, i've been uh, i would I'm sorry i've been playing for weeks and then finally just the other day when i was talking about the five out of six i got that's the first time i ever shared it and literally, wow. my t my Twitter timeline the entire day was useless because everyone was replying with their word results <laughs> all day. I had like two thousand replies. I was like, everyone is playing this game, and everyone can relate. The same frustration wow. is amazing. Wow, very noble of you. I want to call out being willing to share your having your first share being a, a tough uh, tough yeah. game. That's like what a a lot of people out there just sharing. You know, when they get in in three, you know, just bragging, and then they they yep. hide their. Uh, they're struggling days, so it's, kudos to you. There's ups and downs, so you know you got to be honest with the people. I got, I got to share it. So that was, that was a fun experience. All right, Andrew, what are you doing? Got to do the clips outro. Oh, I was just doing really bad at Wordle today. It was a oh. rough one. I, hey, I'm, I'm thinking of a, I'm thinking of a nine-letter word. I only know five-letter words now. Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> it's Wave subscribe. Form. Oh, waveform is. Oh. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're doing so bad at Wordle. Yeah. Um, yeah, you should hit the subscribe button. That is so sweet. Yeah, nine nine letters. Nice. Want to double check? Subscribe Perfect. and like.